feet. His eyes meet mine for a second. He nods at me and mouths goodbye through the shaking roar of the trumpet. They ask, we are all wearing them. I choose to wear mine underneath words so soft, and he chooses harsh and nasty. As I take my morning shot to start the day, I go out on my porch. It has a lovely view. Well, used to. Ever since this threat came to the city, people have been losing their minds. Innocent people driven into darkness. This day was about to come. You know, luck runs out sooner or later. It is quiet when I get up. No birds. No cars. Not even a neighbor on the street. I think nothing much of it. I reflect once more on my life as I sit on the edge of the bed and for some reason a tear runs down my face. I say to myself dark and depressing things. I commit to inflicting my own pain. It's almost as if I'm cutting but the scars are not visible. Then another voice calls out to me. And instantly um, my movie plays out before my eyes on the projector in my head and a smile pulls me from obscurity. Damn. This is going to be a long day. My feet haven't even hit the ground and I'm already fighting. Hesitant to move, I sit still and silent for a second to muster up the will to get through the morning. And I notice not only is it dead silent outside, but it's dead silence in my home. Perhaps everyone has gone out doctor's appointments or special occasions this has all left me in disarray it's odd as hell though I wasn't aware of any movement in my slumber it's even more off that not one soul spoke to me before departure but I guess I slept too heavy so I'll just enjoy the solitude while it's offered me Ten turned to twelve. Twelve turned to two. I showered and eaten, but I decided to go to the store. First of all, let me be clear on a few things. It was completely absent of human and animal life. I got dressed, left out, and locked the door behind me, but it was kind of ominous. I looked around, just surveying my surroundings and apart from the calming on the earth. Everything looked normal until I began to venture to the store. As I'm making my way through the neighborhood, there's a draft that brushes my body. Like I was never alone. It was a familiar energy followed by a scent. An unbelievable concoction. I couldn't tell if it was a flower or a perfume. But it invaded my space and for a moment I was in awe. I paused. I investigated this scent and continued my way. After two minutes pass, in the distance is a convenience store. To my left, I notice the same void on my block. And on my right, there are people looking nervously over their shoulders. What they were wearing could only be described as some thrown together body armor consisting of old clothing, car parts, and various household items. Yeah, 
At this point, I'm thinking, what the hell have I missed? These people are in numbers, probably how something has something happened I was unaware of.